Hello YouTube, this is Frugal. I got Air Hauler 2. I've been quite excited about this. I, I saw it coming and I didn't get Air Hauler 1. But the whole idea around Air Hauler 2 had me quite excited. You basically build your own company and if, like me, you're one of those virtual pilots that struggles to figure out what to fly and where to fly it, this could be a godsend because you undertake missions to build your company in aircraft that you own and earn money and try to build your company. So it's two games in one, really. You've got this whole company management thing on one side and the flying thing on the other side. It's pretty neat. It's early access right now, and I understand that some of the features coming include the ability to enlist other Air Hauler 2 users into your own company and, and, in effect, build your own virtual airline, which I think is really good, really good. So I'm going to go through and set up my company. This is the first of a whole bunch of videos, probably. I'm going to set up my own company here in this first video. I'm not going to do any flying. In the next video, we'll do flying. So really, if you've got some curiosity as to what Air Hauler 2 is, what it does, and how it works, this is the video for you. So I'm going to use prepared version 3. I'm going to give my company a name. I'm going to call it Frugal Airlines. Now, I have run this up before. I have messed around with it briefly. I really don't know what I'm doing. Uh, but even so, I think we can have some fun. So Pete Wright, Frugal, Frugal Airlines, fabulous. Now, you choose a starting level here. Reputation, I think, affects the jobs that you get. Obviously, you start with a starting aircraft as well and, and a certain amount of money. I don't. I could go easy packs, right? That gives me a Connie, an 049A Connie, 60% reputation, 2 million in the bank. I could easily sell the Connie and then go pick up a Dash 8 or something. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to make it a little bit of a challenge, but not a crazy one. This looks good to me. Because I want to fly the Real Air Duke. I haven't flown that in a long, long, long time. And really, as this series progresses and I get over my complete girlish fear of using Pilot Edge, I would like to start doing these flights on Pilot Edge. So I'm going to pick up a Real Air Duke B60 and use that instead of a King Air. And we're going to be based over in California. So we'll choose the medium one there. So it's, it's asking me where I want to start. So I'm going to be KSNA, which is John Wayne. We'll click on that, choose that. Also, for me, recording at night, you know, California is three hours away from me. So if I start recording as I am now at 8.15 at night, then that effectively means I've got 5.15 in the afternoon over in California. Because I think this relies on real time, real day and everything else, real date and time. Uh, wow, look, landing fees, $1,500. Okay, next. I can use... Air hauler 2, weather gen, not going to do that. This is an interesting one, network mode. I saw a number of people asking on, on forums, how would you use this with Fly Inside? Or how would you use this with Sim Starter NG? Both of which are things that I use. And with both of those, you require those things to start the Sim, not Air hauler 2, because it loads your configuration and everything else. The way you do it is you say use network mode. Even on a single machine, you say use network mode, and then you can start the sim separately, which is perfect. So we'll click on next. This is just options for how many jobs are created and all this kind of stuff. We're going to leave this completely as is and click on next. And that's it. It's now going to go and do a bunch of stuff behind the scenes. And the first thing you need to do before you fly is actually take a type rating. You need to actually undertake a little test in the aircraft that you're going to fly before it will let you do anything with that aircraft, which is kind of freaky. That will be the next video. So for now, no, we're not going to do that. I've got some achievements here. Started a new company and so on and so on. Let me show you, though, some of these features. So I've got my company built. I don't have anything really in my company right now. If we go company information, I have a single aircraft, this one, which I don't want. I have no pilots, just me. Now, this is interesting. I couldn't figure this out. I've got to read the manual. Personal information. You can accrue money yourself, and then you can use that to go and play the stock market. And this is a live stock market or somewhat live. It's actual real stock market information. Look at this. FTSE 100 index, the NASDAQ index right there. And you can trade your personal money on the stock market to try to make some more money, which is ever so, ever so weird and a bit of a tangent, I guess, for a flight sim product, but cool all the same. So let's go company, and I'm going to sell this, because I, I really don't want this at all. I, I don't like stock aircraft, so bye-bye, sell that. And it's going to give me $1.2 So I'm going to have $2.2 million monies in the bank. So... I need to go and buy at least one aircraft. So we'll go over here to, um, is it management? Yes, it is management. So aircraft management. 
these are the aircraft that are going to be available to me to buy and use from the marketplace. And I noticed that a couple of my favorites are not in here. So I've got the Majestic Dash 8 is here. That's great. A2A's Piper Comanche. Perfect. Probably be picking up one of those at nearly $200,000. But I would like to bring in the Real Air Duke. So the way we do that, click on Aircraft Management. Uh, sorry. Click on Import Aircraft. Now, I noticed I'm showing you this because I had a problem with this. And this might help people. Uh, add on manufacturers that follow Lockheed's recommendations and install their aircraft outside of prepared's own directory. That means those aircraft won't show here. So the real air aircraft are not showing here. So you need to go import from specific location, browse, navigate your hard disk and find where the actual aircraft is. So for me, Although I have multiple discs, I actually installed it in the wrong place. It's actually here. C for Kona Backstash Real Air. There's the Legacy and there's the Duke. So we'll open up the Duke. We'll go Sim Objects, Airplanes, Real Air, Turbine, Duke version 2. Click on that and open and import. So it's going to bring all of these in and make them all available to me, which is really cool. So I click on that and I think that's all I need to do. Yeah, my hard disk light is going mental. Great. Aircraft imported successfully. Review the details. And here's the details. Crude speed, 270. Range, 1100. Fuel consumption, 64. Passengers, 5. And so on and so on and so on. And it's going to cost, look at that, a whopping $1 million to buy this aircraft. I think it's going to do this for all of them that I just imported. Nope, it does it for just one. So now, the theory goes, I've not actually done this, so I don't know if it's going to work. But if I scroll down, there it is, look. If I make this column wider, Real Air Beach Duke Turbine version 2. One million dollar monies. So having done that, <coughs> what I can do is I can go over to the marketplace now. Look at the aircraft in the marketplace. Here they all are. Scroll down to the bottom and there are the Dukes. And I can lease them for $125,000 per month, or I can buy them for $1 million per month. I i don't know what the long-term advantages are going to be for lease versus buy. Um, oftentimes in cars, there isn't much of an advantage, so I'm actually going to go... I'm going to go and buy November, 626 November that one we're going to buy that aircraft for one million dollars click buy is this a company purchase or a private one it's a company one choose a configuration is this passenger or cargo well i'm going to make it cargo for now it's a ksna done we just bought our first aircraft which is ever so awesome i'm going to buy another one not another duke i'm going to buy a comanche because I like flying the Comanche. It wants me to do a tight rating, which I'm obviously not going to do right now. So, no. So, I'm going to pick up November 6229 Papa. I'm going to pick up that Comanche right there. We will buy this for $200,000. Yes, I want to buy this. It's company purchase, cargo, use selected. Now we have two aircrafts. The reason I've done that is you can hire people and then those people can undertake missions for you. The, I'm going to call it a game. The game runs in real time. So even when you're not here, it's still basically doing its thing. So it makes sense, if you're not going to be flying it for a day or three, that you have other staff who can do stuff for you and keep making your money. Business is all about money, right? So let us go to crew. There are no crews here. So, pilots available to hire. Now I've got Zach here, who's junior second officer. It's going to cost me 7000 per month. Holy crap! 7000 per month. And he's not even certified on a Comanche. Let's look at uh, Rose Hobbs. 11000 a month? Wow. All right, then. Welcome to California. Um, Cub. Ah! Is that is that my, that is my Comanche? So she, if I hire her, she is actually qualified to fly my Comanche right away. Wannabe here is not, and the instructor here is not. But I don't really want to go spending crazy, crazy, crazy money 
Oh my goodness, I guess I could, I guess I could. What does it matter? It's not real money, is it? It would be nice to see a balance somewhere of how much money I've got left to spend. So I'm going to go all out. I need to log in and run this, like, regularly. So this person is really earning their money. I'm going to hire this pilot. Her spare time is mostly taken up with progressive rock. She likes nothing more than visiting new places. Hire the pilot! She can't fly, fly my uh, turbine duke, you notice that? Interesting, but she's hired. Good, she's joined my company. And she is, thank you, hire the pilot. She is capable of flying the Comanche, so we could undertake a mission, but let me see if there's anybody else here worth hiring that can fly a turbine duke. No. Okay. Cargo and passenger routes. Let's look at the jobs map here. And by the way, look at this factories and construction. As you get better with this and make money, you can actually start building facilities, which is very cool. Um, no, I need to go to my fleet. Okay, here is my fleet. Cargo capacity of the Comanche, 1,221, a range of 1,000 miles. So look at the jobs map again. Um, quantity here. 494 and a distance of 297 miles that's pretty easy this one's doable as well just about sunscreen 121 miles that's going to make me twelve thousand dollars so that would basically earn her salary for the whole month in one relatively short trip ksna to knid let's see what else is down here that would make sense probably not a whole lot i can sort these columns which is very useful so i'm at a 1200 limit yeah, the most money I can make is that. Oh, no, not this one. Look at this. Blu-ray players. 13,000 for a 367-mile trip. Hmm. Okay. So let us... Uh, I don't know if I need to accept the job or just assign it. So I'm going to try and assign it. Accept, oh, that does accept it. To 05U. It's a dirt strip somewhere. Yes. And that's going to be that aircraft right there. Okay. And that captain there. It's underway. Look at that. It's all green. So I think we go operations. Nope, she's not doing a damn thing. Hang on. Um, company information. There's my pilots. We already saw that. My bases. What the heck? Okay, cargo jobs then. Ah, here we go. Accepted jobs. So, accepted jobs, this one. Why is nothing happening? Assigned to AI. I already did that, right? That job. It's already assigned. Okay, so, so I guess it must be doing something right now. I remember seeing before it was show that an aircraft is loading or unloading and all this good stuff. It's not showing that right now. I'm not entirely sure why, but okay. But anyway, if I come back tomorrow, she should be done with the job and we should have some money, which would be fabulous. So all that remains really is for me to go and do my tight rating in the uh, Turbine Duke, which I would do in the next video. There's not much else to show here. It actually looks pretty good fun. It looks horrendously complex, especially once you get into factories and constructions up here and uh, just managing your finances. But a lot of fun. Really, really a lot of fun. Very, very cool. There is another thing here, by the way. Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Radar. This shows you who else is playing. So somebody else is here. This guy. Uh, Gubert. Who is flying a Carinado PA-34 Seneca. Um, don't know where Gubert's going to. But he's on board at 10,000 feet. With uh, He's got five passengers on board at 10,000 feet. And if I zoom out, look. These are all the other people doing various things. Which is very lovely. I like that. Very, very cool indeed. Anyway, that's it for this quick glimpse at setting up my company, Frugal Airlines in air hauler too as always my name is frugal thank you so much for watching do tune in next time we'll be doing that tight rating and see how badly i get along see you soon guys